Okay guys, on this corner, I do a finish cut. This is the finish cut. You see, you wrap this one first, and then you finish this. And then I bleed my seams. I went about a like four inches onto the wall, and then I'm going to overlap with the other one like this. You see that wall? So everything is gonna look uniform like that. I'm supposed to get done tomorrow. Hmm. Hopefully, I can get done quick, and then go home. I'm trying to rest I'm tired been working on Sundays Saturdays Sundays from Monday to Sunday most of the time okay so this is how it looks right now it used to be a mess but now it looks kind of decent compared to how it was and this is the way I did my uh, my scupper this was the difficult part of all the roof you see it? how I'm gonna channel all the water inside there this is what the water I still have to put the uh, roof cement on the corners Put it on the edge and then have to probably paint it and then just do some touch ups and then make sure it's waterproof. It's waterproof already, but I have to make sure no water is gonna go in. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Hello, guys. This is Eric. Uh, I'm done with this uh, flat roof. I started yesterday. Yesterday, we started doing it. I sent the removal guy around 7 o'clock and then I started around 11. Yesterday we did the flat roof, I mean the flat area. And then today we finished the walls, me and another two guys. This is the way I did my scuppers. Um, I don't use a, peel, a piece of uh, torch right here on the, on the corners because, first of all, uh, Torch is not made to be fold, you know, like and uh, like right here. Let's say, for example, on on the long run, in 10, 15 years, this part is gonna crack. I always find cracks right here, so this is gonna crack. Also, on the inside corner, if you fold it, it's gonna crack. That's why it's not recommended to use uh, the same piece of the torch materials on the on the inside corners on the outside corners. It's better to use like a modified cement or roof cement or something that's, you know, flexible. Also right here, I finish it like this with roof cement. I don't know, but I'm, I don't like to use... Uh, a lot of people, you know, I've seen... Not a lot of them, actually. I only, only seen few guys who do the torch, you know, like that. They grab like a piece of the torch and then they just, they just weld it to it. Uh, I remember in San Clemente about three years ago, I went to fix a roof like this and the guy had a bunch of leaks on the on the drain because he welded one piece of torch to the thing. But the problem is, you know, when you apply like roof cement like this, it penetrates the little, the little tiny openings that you cannot see. And when you do a torch down, if you make a mistake, you know, the water goes through there. So the guy had a bunch of leaks. He called the roofer, but he never came back. So he called me and he told me, why is it leaking when it's brand new? I told mom, because when he welded the little pieces of torch to the corners, he didn't weld it right. So, I mean, you really have to, plus it takes a, lot, a long time. And to me, this is better than welding a piece of torch. Cosmetically, it looks better, you know, with the piece of torch because it matches. But who's gonna see this roof from the bottom? Okay, who's gonna see it? Nobody, only only the birds, okay? Only the birds. You see that roof over there, the ugly thing, it's all rusted. Every roof I see, it's so ugly. It only looks good for like, for a few years. After like few years, then it looks ugly. No matter how beautiful you left it, you know, it takes all the abuse of the mother nature and it gets ugly. Even though if you have, you, you see those apartments over there, the tire looks all green, all moldy, ugly. So that's what I said, don't really worry too much about the cosmetic thing of roofs. I mean, try to make it look good, I mean, for the first impression, but eventually it's gonna look ugly. That's the ugliest thing you can see on a house, the roof. But that's, the roof are made to protect the, the interior of your house, not to look beautiful. Okay guys, hopefully you like my video. This is how I did my roof. This one, I overlap in about eight inches on the wall and then I came down with the <coughs> piece of a uh, torch and when I went all, all the way to the wall and then I cut the wall to install the counter flashing. So I'm done and uh, this is another roof. 
little flat roof. This is a little different, so. But basically, it's the same concept, you know. This is a wall, so you're supposed to do the wall by pieces. You don't run it like this. It's better to run it like that, so. Hopefully, you guys, you guys like it, and give it a like, hopefully. All right, thank you very much. If you have any questions, just, just, just write it to me. I'll try to answer it. Bye-bye.